Hallo miteinander, I'm Gash86 and this is Mystical Chain. Fun little action game. We're gonna play this as the team Marissa and Pachuri. Alice is gonna be left out. She will probably have to go cry in the corner, poor girl. And we're gonna play boss rush mode. Because in my opinion, the bosses in this game are just the main meat of it. We'll meet our first opponent shortly. After some big flashy effects. It's Shiki Aiki that show off. She is the judge of paradise and she want, wants us to repent. I guess, for whatever. Anyway, let's start this. As I've said, this is an action game. Your object is to um, defeat any opponents that you encounter. But as simple as that sounds, it's not really. Your attacks will only be actually effective at certain times. In fact, when there's a red circle around the enemy, just there you saw I stupidly um, wasted an opportunity. But oh well, what can you do? I was still warming up. Now, if you do get an enemy, uh, get break through an enemy's defense, you've got to juggle them around, just clobber them as good as you can. And for and to be extra effective, you need to change between one of your two characters. You always have two characters in this game. To make even better combos, you can leave your characters at certain points. That's called ambush mode. Now we've just beaten the first of three of Shigeki's spell cards. This one is more bark than bite. This game is a lot about quick reflexes and strategy, where to keep your partner, which moves to use. Moves in this game are kind of executed like in fighting games, even though I wouldn't really call this, but it is a little bit like a 2D fighting game, but oh well. That sun ray that I let Pachuri use is um, performed by down, quarter, circle, right, and attack. So your usual stuff. Now we're at the final spell of Shigeiki. She brought Kamachi to help her, but it's not gonna help in the end. I'm gonna make sure it doesn't. The thing is, to get Shigeiki to let her guard down, you must knock down Kamachi. And it may look a little bit like she tries to revive her, but actually she just thinks Komachi is slacking off and she punishes her by zapping her. Such a mean boss she has. Well, that was quick. The very first fight is concluded. Finished, yes. We get our rankings and move on to the second fight of the game. The second fight just happens to be my very favorite one. You will see why. We have a full moon tonight. And what is this? A disturbance? These two. Kaguya and Moko. Now you would think that they join forces to fight you, but you'd be wrong. In fact, that's the theme of this fight. They don't care about you at all. All they care about is fighting each other. But there's such a, a huge destructive force that you have to watch out not to get caught in the crossfire. It's so 
little comical if you ask me. If you hit one of them, the other will actually stop um, what she's doing and just laugh in schadenfreude. Actually, when she does, her guard is also down. And by attacking the one first and the other after that, like I'm doing now, you can get some really, really big combos. Now here's a really good example why they're fighting each other. Kaguya will always um, aim at Moko. Because I find this spell card a little bit hard to um, counter, I use my super against it. As you can see in Marissa's case, that's the master spark. Now Pacho uses Silent Celine, which we'll see later. And Alice has some weird doll move that is not really that good. Actually, Alice is an okay character overall. And I really don't know what happened there. Usually, Kaguya is not supposed to score a hit against Moko here. Oh well, I'll take it. On to the third spell card. All you have to watch out here is not to be on the ground while Moko impacts. Getting these ridiculous combos in this game is so satisfying, that's why I like it so much. Actually, only end a spell card of a boss when you break the boss's guard. You can hit them while their guard is up as long as you like. It does a little bit of damage, but it will never, ever um, make the final blow. Unless it's one of those very special spell cards. We'll come to that later. Now, the final, the fourth and final spell card of Momo and Kaguya is where it gets really pompous and extreme. I decided to just blast it once more. And partially joined the beating. Wait, wasn't that all there was to it? Yes, it in fact, they've destroyed each other. We didn't have any part of it, nope. Oh, let's see our rankings. Hey, we're ass. That's not very nice of the screen. The game, I should say. Oh well. This game features um, six bosses overall. You can only get to the very last one if you accumulate more than 30 coupling points, which are gotten by just um, doing good combos, putting both of your characters into them, like I'm doing now pretty much. It's a little bit cryptic, but enough about that theoretical thing. Yoma and Yoyoko and Yuyuko came here to get a beating. Now this first spell I can only effectively attack um, every second time she rushes towards us. Now there I use Marissa's very useful if she's just too far away from an enemy. Marissa's um, normal laser beam is executed just like um, Pachu's Sunray. Down quarter circle right attack. 
the characters have some other moves, but um, I didn't use much of them. It's okay. If I could use them really smart, I would probably be, be better at this game. This second spell card of Yomu can be very annoying. Um, you can only attack her, break her guard after she's performed an attack. And that means you must get her to miss because she'll hunt you down always. When her health gets low, she gets kind of sneaky with her attacks. Like, like I'm not going to attack you, not going to attack you. Oh, you're not paying attention? Now I'm going to attack you. That's how it is. But this is done as well. Maybe you noticed, but Yuyuko just kind of left for these first two spell cards, letting Yomo do all the work. But I guess um, Yomo did so badly um, that she just has to join in now. Something I haven't mentioned before, you always switch between one character and the other. The passive character um, that you're not controlling is always invincible. By um, switching at the right time, you can even dodge something that would surely hit you. So keep that in mind if you try this game yourself. something special. It can never be broken at all. You just have to deal damage until you was done. And in my opinion the best way to do this is actually using Hachiri's Super Silent Selene. It attacks all enemies above you and really wrecks them as you can see now. That was really really fast. even say I cheese that spell. That's it for the third boss. The fourth and fifth will be next time. So, I'm Gish86. Bis bald.